Today we're going to find out where your money's best spent after I taste the entire core lineup of Johnny Walkers. Stick around. Hey, welcome back Whiskey Questers. If you're new to the channel, my name is Antonio and this is Whiskey Quest, where I get to try and review whiskeys from around the world. I like to add a drop of water to each one of them just to see if it changes. So if you're curious about whiskey, want to learn more about whiskey, or just in general love whiskey, consider hitting the subscribe button with the bell notification so you can stick around for more videos. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It'll really help out the channel. So today we're going to be tasting the Johnny Walker Core lineup. I found this box here a few months ago for $50. It's the Johnny Walker Discovery Box. And when I saw that it had the blue label, I was like, man, I, I can't pass this up. So I paid the money just so I can get and to taste that one. I haven't tasted any of the other ones except for the red, the black, and the double black. So this was the perfect chance for me to try them all without spending way too much money. But wait, you're like, how am I going to taste the entire Coral lineup if it doesn't have the green or the red? Well, let's take care of that. I picked up a small bottle of that. And I picked up a whole bottle of that. So stick around, I'm gonna get these all set up and ready for the review. Man, that's a lot of whiskey. I am gonna have fun doing this review. All right, I got these set up from least expensive all the way to most expensive. So let this tasting, let this tasting get started. Let's get, let's just get started. Now they're all 40% ABV, except for this one. This one's bottled at 43, just so you guys know. All right, let's get this started with the red label. Johnny Walker red label is an NAS whiskey. That's a no age statement whiskey. And it'll cost you around $20 for the whole full 750 ml bottle. On the nose, the nose, guys, to me, this is not like a horrible whiskey. It does have a lot to offer. I'm getting some pear notes on the, on the nose, some apple notes. I do get some brine, pretty pretty strong brine actually. There's some peat smoke in there, some vanilla and some caramel. To me, it's not really as boring as people say, but you know, to each their own. All right, let's move on to the palate. Cheers, everybody. Yep. It is watery on the mouthfeel, but does leave you with a nice oily kind of feeling. There's some, some pepper showing up. There's that smoky char flavor also in there. There's some mint coming out. So this does have a short finish, but it does move along somewhere towards almost the medium side. It finishes with some, some of that smoky, minty, almost chocolatey. And like I said, still leaves you that, that oily mouthfeel. So it's not bad. I'm gonna give this a 75 out of 100 all right next up is the johnny walker black label this is a 12 year old whiskey and it'll cost you somewhere around like 33 dollars give or take depending where you go all of this is depending where you are where you go so you know but those are the the prices that would normally go for all right on the nose on this one i get there's definitely a little bit more smoke than the red one does but to me there's there's more fruitiness going on like apples and pears maybe some raisins i still get some vanilla and a little bit of brine also present not a bad nose definitely a step up from the from the red label cheers everybody on the palate yeah definitely way less peppery than the red label if you guys seen my other reviews, I love that pepper note. So, so that's why I don't mind drinking the red label. But anyways, less pepper, way less pepper. A little bit more on the creamier side, but but still, it's just less less watery. Let's just put it that way than the red label. Um, I still get those apples and pears. That smokiness is there. It's pretty light though, so it's like. It's not gonna be like a in your face kind of smoke, but it's there. Also get some caramel, a little bit of chocolate. Now the finish is short, but it does finish with a nice smoky 
like a honey sweet kind of kind of flavor at the end yeah pretty good pretty good whiskey i'm gonna score this one uh, 85 out of 100. all right next up is the johnny walker double black this is definitely an amped up nose to this one on the smoky side but it's it's not also i mean maybe to somebody that's brand new to to peat smoke and stuff like that it's it's gonna be in your face but once you start trying stuff like Arbeg or Lafroig, you know, those are like super heavily peated stuff. So after you've gone through that, uh, this isn't too bad. This is, to me, it still smells like like those little sticks that you burn at a church when you light up the candle and then you turn it off. That little smoky kind of note. That's what I get on this every single time. And out of the three, this is my favorite. So... Like I said, amped up smoke. I still get those apples, some pears, vanilla, caramel, some oak, maybe a little bit of like marshmallows also, sweetness coming out. Really good stuff. All right, onto the palate. Yeah, definitely a lot smokier than the black 12 year old. Get that caramel some dark chocolate coming out those fruity nuts fruit <laughs> those fruit notes are still in there a little bit of a sugar kind of taste going on also there's some mint in there and some oak going on also now the finish on this because of that smokiness that comes out it has a little bit of a longer finish than this I'd say that this one's definitely somewhere on the medium side Leaves you with a nice, you know, char, smoky, dark chocolate, sugary mouthfeel aftertaste also going on. Really good stuff. I really like this. Definitely giving this one an 87 out of 100. It's a great daily sipper. All right, moving on to the Johnny Walker Green Label. This one has an age statement of 15 years, and it'll cost you around $60. And unlike the other ones, this is not a blended scotch whiskey. A blended scotch means that it's a blend of single malts from different distilleries and grain whiskey, where this one is just using single malts from different distilleries. So it's a blended malt whiskey. So let's see what we get in the nose. Oh, definitely different from these other ones. A lot maltier. So you get that malt influence going on. It smells creamy, you know, it doesn't smell like it's gonna have a, a weak mouthfeel. There's some smoke and some brine going on. I still get some vanilla and some caramel on this. I'm getting some pears also, maybe some raisins, cocoa, definitely a better nose. And you know, in this one, if I close my eyes and smell it, for some reason, I picture like a like a rainy day. I don't know. Pretty interesting. All right, let's move on to the taste. Cheers, everybody. Very nice. I get a nice, silky, almost velvety kind of mouthfeel. Some char, smokiness up front. And some, some pepperiness going on. A little bit of mint salty caramel kind of notes vanilla dark chocolate there's some raisins also in there some dark fruits definitely the finish on this i'd say it's on the medium side definitely it finishes with that silky mouthfeel brine dark chocolate a little bit of smoke great whiskey i'm gonna give this one a 90 out of 100. All right, moving on to the Gold Label Reserve. This one's going to cost you $10 more than the green, so $70. It's a no-age statement whiskey. And this one on the nose, first thing that I get is like a caramel, vanilla. There's also some brine in there, little, little hints of smoke, not as much as this one. Getting something that's making me think of like cooked apples. 
but I do get like a like a oaky and like there's like a like a varnishy kind of kind of smell. So maybe a little bit harsher on the alcohol thing. I don't know. Let's see how it tastes on the palate. Cheers. All right, definitely more watery on the mouthfeel. That's probably why they didn't put the green label in the box because the malt just gives you that nice mouthfeel. But but it's definitely a lot more watery than, than, than the black one even, the double black. There's still some char in there, some, some kind of smoky flavor. But I do get more of an alcohol burn on this one. But it is sweeter though. It is sweeter on the palate. It's like a powdered sugar kind of sweet. So pretty light. That's Maybe that's why I'm thinking powdered sugar. Because to me, powdered sugar is a little bit lighter than like regular sugar. Now the finish on this, to me, is short. But not to the point where it fades away pretty quick. It's still there. And it finishes with that that powdered sugar and some char in the end. I mean, it's pretty pretty good. I still prefer this one over that one. But um, score it... Uh, I'll give it an 80 out of 100. All right, moving on to the Johnny Walker 18-year-old whiskey here. I'm moving a lot faster than I thought I was. And I've been drinking water on the side just to cleanse my palate between each tasting here. So this one's going to cost you around $80. So let's see what we get on the nose. Wow, 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 wow. Definitely a step up. I'm getting a lot more out of this nose. It smells really creamy. There's vanilla, caramel, some brine, saltiness, like a caramel, salted caramel. There's more oak going on in this one. Definitely taste or smell the age on this one. There's a floral note. Pretty interesting nose. There's a note and I can't describe. Sometimes if you close your eyes, and smell it you'll start picturing things and the only thing that i can think of it's a fruity note kind of citrusy i'm i'm gonna lean towards pineapple on this one pretty interesting nose all right let's move on to the taste cheers everybody wow definitely creamier on the mouth the mouth feel here get that smokiness coming out that brine, the oak, the vanillas, the caramels. Mm -hmm. Wow, excellent. Get some peppery notes, chocolate. Wow, this is pretty interesting how I'm assuming these are almost the same, just maybe uses, this one uses younger whiskey but for ten dollars more you're definitely getting a lot more there that creaminess finish makes the finish it's just a long finish honestly as, as it starts fading away the creaminess just starts transitioning into like a like a silky mouthfeel finishes with that smoky char vanilla caramel i'm gonna give this one a 97 out of 100 if the finish was even longer <laughs> it would bump up to like 98 but 97 i think it's a fair score it's really good really good stuff Whew. i'm starting to feel it i'm definitely starting to feel happier all right let's move on to the johnny walker blue label when I think about that is that status, you know, I'm making the big bucks where I can buy this whenever I want. So for those of you that are like me that don't make the big bucks and you really want to go out and see if you like this, I'd say that a sample pack would be the way to go. So let's see if this blows me away to the point where I'm going to go spend my money and buy a whole bottle of this. This is a no-age statement whiskey. 
and it's going to cost you $100 more than this one. So $180 for the blue label. That's almost $200 for a bottle. So let's see what we get on the nose. Definitely a lot smokier than this one. So far, so good, guys. Seems like across all of them, I get like a caramel. Maybe because it's, you know, like a like a darker kind of sugar. But I do get a nice floral note on this one. And it does remind me of like dried prunes, raisins, some brine in there too. It smells misty. <laughs> mysterious all right enough for the nose pretty good nose let's move on to the taste cheers everybody first time ever tasting it can't wait all right wow smoke right up front light pepper notes i get a uh, some pears some apples a little bit of sugar but damn, that finish, that finish is gone already. It didn't even last. What the hell? I mean, <laughs> as I was tasting, I was trying to get flavors out and it was already gone before I even got to detect anything. All right, one more sip. All right, get some, some chocolate notes in there. <laughs> like I said, that char... Smoky flavor. Yeah, that finish just goes away. I just like just as I'm starting to get notes, it's it's poof, gone. But nonetheless, it's really it's a really tasty. There's no burn at all. At all. Maybe because it just finishes so quick that that you don't even notice it. But it is, it is very tasty, <laughs> but is it worth $180? To me, I'm going to say no. Damn, this is a very disappointing turn of events. For all of you guys that love it, hey, if you guys are willing to spend that much money, go go ahead. I mean, it is, it is really good tasting whiskey. It's just... That finish, man, it's just, I have nothing in my mouth anymore. I'm going to score this an 86 out of 100. Man. I had high hopes for Blue Label. Oh, well. So my final thoughts on this whole tasting thing. First of all, I'm glad I found this tasting sample because if I would have bought the whole bottle to review of the Johnny Walker Blue Label, I would have been pretty disappointed that I spent that much money on, on that whiskey. Now, my new favorite is going to be the 18-year-old whiskey. For that kind of money, you're really getting a lot. I mean, the finish, the t flavors, it takes you on a nice journey. That really, that really to me, is, is where your money's well spent. Now, the next one up is going to be the green label. That also had some awesome flavors. Both these finishes were awesome. And honestly, your, your money's not going to be thrown in the garbage with either of these right here. The Double Black is still a great whiskey. And I prefer it over these two right here. So this one right here, unfortunately, uh, didn't do it for me. And the Blue Label, what can I say? I'm just glad I didn't spend $180. All right, Whiskey Questers, that's it for the review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely had a blast tasting all of these. And as you guys can see, I'm not done. So I'm feeling a little tipsy. So I'm going to end the video right here with, if you guys can do me a favor, hit that like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe guys because I need them subscribers to reach 500 so I can finally taste this thing right here God damn it. All right, so if you guys can do me that favor I would really appreciate it hit that bell notification too so you guys can stick for more videos just like this 
Cheers, everybody. The blue label. <laughs> Have a great day, a magnificent day. And don't forget to come back for more videos. Bye. Yes, I just took a shot of Johnny Walker Blue Label. And it's gone. The flavor's gone.